Hey, 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 welcome to On The Journey 111. I am L Rock and we are here to do a musically inspired reading. Tonight's musical inspiration, um, AKA song that's running in my head and wants to be read, um, is the song Wait by White Lion. So it's an 80s hairband love ballad. I love that these love ballads are coming through, these power ballads. Um, cause I'm kind of an eighties girl and, uh, shamelessly an eighties girl. Uh, so let's find out more about this. So we're going to start with the music Oracle card. I'm going to, um, this is a love reading because of the nature of the song and I will get into the lyrics here shortly. Wow. So cards are already flying. I'm not going to take any of them because I want to shuffle really quick. Oh, Miles Davis came out earlier. We'll see if he cuts. If the cards want to come back out, they will. Um, that's the cool thing about tarot and oracle cards. Um, the messages do repeat themselves or cards similar to them. So we'll see what comes out here. Um, so for the person who's saying wait, uh, one card, please. Tell me who the person that's a uh, white lion person, please. Who's the person asking? Ah, oh, too many cards, you know. All right, so we'll take the two that turned upright. So we have uh, Tina Turner and Diana Ross. Um, so Tina Turner's message. So this is the person who's saying, wait. They're in the energy of it's not what happens that matters. It's how you deal with it. Purge your life of whatever brings you down and the most beautiful lotus blooms in the deepest mud. Oh, interesting. So that's true. Lotus flowers do bloom in mud. And then Diana Ross's message says, make sure they never see the last of you. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing in a ball gown. So do it with style. And you can be better than anyone else. Okay, so that's the energy that the person who's saying wait is in. And I'm getting more off the Tina Turner card than I am off of um, Diana. So we're going to call this person um, Tina. So um, Tina, this is not about what happens that matters. It's how you deal with it. So whatever it is that you're asking to wait for you, um, or whoever you're asking to wait, um, it's how you show up. Uh, it's not about, I, I've been hearing the term catching up recently, and it's really not about catching up, it's about showing up. And showing up is where you get the opportunity to catch up, because if you don't show up for the race, there's nothing to catch up to. So um, that's the energy of um, the person who's singing the song, Wait. Now, who are they singing it to? All right. They are singing it to Freddie Mercury. So Freddie Mercury is a dramatic life is better than being dramatic about life. So what that means is that's going out and doing things that other people may not be approve, approve of instead of being held back and being dramatic about the fact that you're letting other people make your choices for you. So being dramatic in your life is better than being dramatic about it. Like, don't be a victim. Um, just go do your thing. Extravagance is the wicked stepmother of invention. And there's nothing more precious than frivolity. So yeah, um, the frivol, the, it's the little things. Have you ever heard that saying? It's the little things that really matter. Um, that's what I'm getting from that. So what is your shared energy, please? Your shared energy. Your shared energy is John Coltrane. Take your solo, but give others their moment too. So um, if you took the solo and then um, your person left the stage because they didn't get the chance to sing with you um, and it was supposed to be a duet, um, then then there's something. So that's, that's the energy here. So you both, it seems like took a solo, um, and you need to give each other your moment in the light. 
And it says, if you follow their, your own truth, there are no false notes. So this is about following your inner soul song and find beauty in the unexpected. So this person might not be your normal type. This might be somebody that you wouldn't normally date. And so, and you found beauty in that with each other. And then the next card out is Kurt Cobain. And he says, we're all in this mess together. So we might as well make some noise. Oh yes, Kurt. Don't become your own tribute band, meaning don't imitate other people. Um, be unique, be original, be authentic. And you can't buy teen spirit. That's absolutely true. Teen spirit is something that comes from inside of you. It's not something that's external. It can't be purchased. Um, it can't be gotten. It's something that's cultivated. So, um, you know, be unique. Both of you are unique individuals. You're in it together. You have each other's back and um, you're both willing to make some noise about it. And remember that there are no false notes as long as you're following your truth. So, um, you know, this is really the energy between you is an energy of solid independence between the two of you. So I would refer to that as interdependence. If this is, um, you know, which, which I, I sense that it is because of the words of the song, wait. So, all right. And then at the bottom of the deck, we've got Lady Gaga. Turn bad romance into good business. Exaggerate your contradictions and become the star you were born to be. So for whoever that is out there, um, maybe somebody's doing something in the public eye. Maybe they're a public speaker. Maybe they're a singer, a performer, something like that. Um, but let's find out about your cycle. So Tina, Tina, who's singing, wait, 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 uh, let's, oh, let's go. Um, so here's, let's talk about lyrics. So the songs by white lion and we have the white cat tarot. I love it when the decks tell me which ones that they want to do. So, uh, hold up here. I've got this notepad where when I get hits, um, I start doing my description box. Okay, so the lyrics for Wait. Um, this is Tina Turner and Diana Ross who's saying this to probably you, the watcher, but um, this could be, um, you could be Tina here, um, but Freddie's the person who's receiving the song Wait. So um, the lyrics are, wait, wait, I never had a chance to love you. Now I only want to say I love you one more time. Wait just a moment before our love will die, because I must know the reason why we say goodbye. So there's been an ending here for um, you guys, um, obviously. Wait just a moment and tell me why, because I can show you loving that you won't deny. I said, wait and show your loving like it was before, because I won't let that feeling walk out the door, walk out through the door. I said, wait just a moment and try once more, because babe, I need to hold you like I did before. So if you go away, I know that I will follow, because there's a place inside my heart that tells me, hold out, hold out, hold out, oh baby. Wait, wait, I never had a chance to love you. Wait, wait, if only our love could show you. Wait, wait, I never want to be without you. Wait, wait, no, I never had a chance to love you. Now I only want to say I love you one more time. So if you go away, I know that I will follow because there's a place inside my heart that tells me, hold out, hold out, hold out, oh baby. Wait, wait, I never had a chance to love you. Wait, wait, if only our love could show you. Wait, wait, I never want to be without you. Wait, wait, no, I never had a chance to love you. Now I only want to say I love you. Baby, I'm begging you. Baby, no, I never had a chance to love you. So, um, you know, whatever happens, it's about how you deal with it. So if you didn't have the chance to love Freddie Mercury and, um, you know, 
And Freddie's not dramatic. Um, we know that because Freddie would rather live a dramatic life than be dramatic about life. So, um, you know, whatever it is, um, I would say that probably it's been of an in and out nature. So maybe like a situation ship or something like that. Um, so we have the energy of make sure they never see the last of you. So that's the energy of um, continuing to show up. So do you remember when we talked about catch up instead of show up? That's Diana Ross's energy here. Um, so that's the continuing to show up instead of catching up. Um, if it's a job worth doing, it's worth doing in a ball gown. So do it in style and do it with your style because your shared energy talks about both of you being completely unique individuals, about having solos, but being in it together, um, following your own truth, knowing that that your truth is your truth. It doesn't have to be other people's truth. It's yours. And there is no falsehood behind that. And then finding the beauty in the unexpected. So, you know, if Diana Ross likes to um, do her work in a ball gown, um, you know, that's unexpected. Let Diana do that. Let Diana Tina do that. Um, so yeah. All right. Let's find out. Okay. So the Diana Tina group over here. Oh, interesting. We have expand into wonder with the energy of amethyst. So we've got some amethyst right over here. Yes, let's just bring that energy out for um, Tina, Diana. And then we have Quaking Aspen, which is we are one. So there's something about this that's really unusual for you. Um, it taps into something deeper, um, a deeper knowing. Um, there's like you've known each other before. And so... Um, you know, with this, you are one, you, you feel it on a deep level, you're rooted both in the ground and um, your souls know each other. So um, Tina is expanding into wonder and sees that this is a relationship with oneness or a love where there's oneness. Now, remember, John Coltrane, your shared energy here is to take your solo and to give others their moment too. And so somebody here, um, Tina, might be watching um, because we've got the energy of the love being underground and how each of the Aspens stand individually above ground. So if you look at them without their root system, they look like individual trees. There's a bird there that's flying. That's the first time I've ever noticed that bird. So again, there's that energy of solo. Um, and then as you zoom out, you see the interconnectedness. So that's the energy of independence, and that is the energy of interdependence. And I think that that's the wonder that you're expanding into. Um, maybe you've only been in codependent relationships, Tina. The, um, we, we know a little bit about Tina and Ike Turner's story. He was, you know, not kind to her. He was, um, you know, he hit her. There were some things that were difficult, right? Um, and so with that... You expand into the wonder of who you are, who your potential is. And if you've been in something that was a compression in your life, relationship wise, or you just had a commitment, a job or something that took you away, this really expands you. And it looks like um, here we've got the sun showing up. So maybe you're wanting to speak because he looks like he's um, up and he's wanting to get something out, but it might be stuck in his throat. So, um, you know, yeah, interesting. So Freddie Mercury. So I might be talking to Tina Turner here today because um, Freddie's not really like I'm not getting a lot of energy off this. Let's see. Freddie, what's your purpose here right now? Talk to me about. OK, so we have transcending yourself. So, again, better to be dramatic about life than being or better to be. Excuse me, let's try this one more time. A dramatic life is better than being dramatic about life. So this is the energy of yin and yang, light and shadow. And what you're being asked to do is you're being asked to transcend yourself, Freddie. 
So um, if you are being dramatic, if you are being a fire starter, if you are doing things that are um, otherwise not helping your, your person who's saying waiting, um, transcend that. If you are focused on um, this wait, wait person, like, you know, um, you're transcending that too. So, you know, just you've got Freddie seems to be in the energy of self where Tina and Diana are in the energy of expansion and creating a greater level of oneness. But you're both solo acts that want to come together and perform together. So you're transcending to be able to do that. Um, you've also, we, so that's the Andalusian horse there. Um, for Freddie. And then we've got Sacred Center with Selenite, which this is, this is Selenite right here. It's an always charged stone. And your Sacred Center is about finding that balance, earth, wind, fire, water here. So we've got all of the elements represented. Um, we have that balanced energy there. Do you see that? The scale is perfectly balanced. So it does look like Freddie has transcended past being dramatic about life and just goes about living their life. Um, Freddie does the practice of pause, assess, and act. So thinks about what they're doing or what he's doing prior to doing it. There's been lessons in blood, lessons that have come from family, ancestral wounds, things that have been painful. And those lessons have been taken and integrated, alchemized, and used and those, and in that, um, Freddie has discovered um, purpose with Earthworm here. So we've got Almadine Garnet here with energy, with lessons in blood. We've got the white tailed deer here in terms of paying attention. So there's been maturity here. You've gone from the doe and you've matured up through into a higher state of your sacred center, balanced, transcending being reactive versus being proactive. I'm also seeing a heart here in the center of this deer's eye. So um, your your love, your third eye, um, this, this is intuitive love here. This is something deeper. Um, there is discovering your purpose. So with earthworm, what the energy of this card is, is that earthworm creates spaciousness in the soil to, for nutrition to be able to get the roots of um, grass, plants, flowers. So Freddie Mercury creates space. And um, so, you know, there's, he just does what he does. He just is who he is. He's the queen of hearts. He loves love. He loves life. He doesn't need to be dramatic about it. He just goes out and live it, lives it because he knows his purpose is to sing his soul song. And he's learned these lessons. He's learned what he needed to know. And he shields and protects. These roots are not mounted where these are. So, um, you know, you are one with each other. Um, but your lessons in blood left you uprooted, Freddie Mercury. So um, be mindful of that. And you are because you um, you look at every, you take into account the things that you do. And um, that's what creates that balance here with the, sac with the uh, Salonite. You have, in fact, transcended yourself, Freddie Mercury. So let's find out. Let's see what the Tarot of the White Cats wants to say for Tina and Diana. So I keep hearing, wait, wait, I never had a chance to love you. That's the part of the song that um, keeps coming out. But I do like to read all of the lyrics so that you can find what resonates for you because it will be different for everybody. These are general readings. Um, they're not private or personal readings. So, um, you know, only take it if it resonates here. All right. So what do we have for the Tina Diana person? Tina. My, that knocked um, this tiger eye stone off of the mystical cat's tarot. So we have the king of chalices. So we've got king energy and the knight of wands. So somebody wants to come rushing in. Well, Tina wants to come rushing in um, passionately. So the wand is, you know, um, 
that's the indicator of the attraction that you have between you here, um, what's bringing you together. And there is a great deal of focus and intensity. Let's see if I can get the light on this a little bit better. No. Okay, that's better. These cards are small and hard to see. Yeah, he's focused. Look at that. So Tina's not taking any prisoners. Tina knows what she wants. She's there on the horse um, and ready to go. Um, there's there's dust. Um, something's kicked up, and it's that, that sense of oneness that you guys probably um, find with each other in intimacy. And in addition to the attraction, there's deep love here. There's the king of chalices. So you can see that he's on his island um, and he's stable, but he's surrounded by those emotions. So um, Tina is um, perhaps getting grounded here as well. What else do we have for Tina? Ooh. All right. Aw, Tina. Wait, wait. I never had a chance to love you. And boy, do I love you with the Ace of Cups. You are my Nine of Cups, emotional happiness. And I want a King of Swords you and come and tell you about it. Nine of Pentacles, Freddie Mercury, who's living a solo, you know, not dramatic life. Um, but we've got a tower here. Interesting. So, um, what is the tower? The tower is, oh, okay. So, yep, I see it. So the tower is about feeling like Tina has lost somebody, um, which is her six of cups, which is her love. Um, this is a soul. These are some of the best cards in the deck, quite frankly. Ace of cups, six of cups, four of cups is not good, but that's the tower that happened. Um, so, you know, you have absolute emo. There's so many cups here, such emotional happiness here. Six of cups, nine of cups, ace of cups. Oh my God, Tina, like there's some major love here for Freddie. Um, major love for Freddie. Um, Freddie is a nine of pentacles and this is your energy, that king of swords, that wanting to communicate because there has been a tower. Something was offered and not accepted and it caused a tower moment. And so, um, wow. So Tina's, um, you know, taking her, Tina looks to be wanting to communicate emotions quickly and passionately about um, a cup that wasn't accepted, which was actually a cup of happiness, um, a big cup of happiness from somebody in the past, somebody that you love, somebody that brings out Tina's child spirit. Somebody that doesn't, um, you know, somebody that's got love um, for this Nine of Pentacles. This is that independence. This is that um, extravagance is the wicked stepmother of invention. So maybe somebody lives extravagantly but doesn't spend a lot of money doing it. Um, interesting. Okay. I, that's funny that I wanted to put that. It probably does belong over there because they are... That's who this card is talking about. But these are Tina's cards. All right. So let's find out more about Freddie. How are we for time? Okay, good. All right, Freddie. What's your story? What do you want us to know about Freddie? All right. So Freddie has consequences here. Consequences is the justice card. <clears throat> so um, maybe Freddie was feeling a little bit tangled up or entangled here or, oh, interesting. Freddie thought he was going to be able just to play and not be involved. And then Freddie got tangled up in something. Um, probably love. So interesting. <laughs> Let's see what else came out. Aww. The fool. So um, Freddie's a fool for something. Um, and there were some consequences around that. Probably emotional. Um, because Freddie seems to want to get back and centered into his life um, after, after some drama here. Um, getting into that sacred center and moving forward on the path. Stopping to smell the flowers. Watching the sunrise. 
enjoying all of the beauty and the essence that life is for Freddie. So that is the, um, you know, that's the frivolity. That's the energy of the fool. So Freddie says there's nothing more precious than frivolity. That's this energy right here. That's enjoying it for the pure fact that you enjoy it. Nothing else. You don't have to justify it. You don't have to explain it. Um, maybe there's consequences, but this is also the justice card. And so um, with this, that means that justice also comes in. So take this as it resonates because the cat is tangled, but not tangled in a way that it can't escape and, and pursue this, this fool's journey here. This, this path of least resistance is what we'll call it. So what else do we have for um, Freddy? Ooh, all right. Ah, interesting. The priest, this is the hierophant. This is ancient practices. Um, this is rules. We've got that justice card. Um, Freddie, maybe, have you been in court maybe? Um, with consequences in the priest? Um, but this is the energy of the Hierophant. So um, that also can speak to marriage here um, as well. So, but I'm not seeing a lot of love cards on Freddie's side. Freddie, what, how do you feel about this? Freddie's, oh, Freddie's in uh, Queen of Swords energy. So this is just kind of saying what's on the mind, um, really just cutting through things, Um Interesting. What is this energy? That's that's Freddie transcending. That's Freddie pause, assess, act, not being led by the emotional by the emotions and being really practical and logical about love is what's happening here for Freddie. So um Freddie's Freddie doesn't seem to really be focused on love. Freddie seems to be focused on purpose, not getting caught up in drama of love, it looks like. Um, when this card landed, it landed, um, in the middle of the tripod in reverse. So this could be the priest in reverse in so much as this is somebody who, um, maybe, um, is not looking or maybe has a value system that's different from tradition. Um, tell me more about the priest. Let's find out more about the priest. What is the priest? Oh, interesting. So the priest is a broken heart and a two of swords. So Freddie is super self-focused um, because I think Freddie thinks that Tina is not showing up. And um, because like, like there's love, like, but w for whatever reason, it didn't take off. And now Tina's singing, wait, Freddie's getting on with life because Freddie's had a broken heart. Freddie's, Freddie's dealt with some BS, right? So this three of sky or three of swords is what this one is. Talks about the things that you value and what other people don't value. So you can see that somebody's really, that this cat has really put a lot of effort into its home. Um, and then down here, you've got all of these things that are broken You've got this a-hole cat that's getting ready just to kind of blow that that crystal off of its mount. Um, and they're just walking across, knocking shit down and tearing stuff up. And um, so this high, so this might have been somebody who was in a marriage. Total three of hearts. Um, or sorry, three of hearts. Why did I say that? Does that mean anything to anybody? Three of swords. Um, broken heart is what that is. And it's a broken heart in the home environment. Things were not healthy or well. And so then we get this two of sky. Oh no, my battery's about ready to go dead, which is coming out of that. You can see that this cat's been to war. Like it's, it's all nuclear back there. Um, and he's walking out and he's walking between these two flags and look at the smile on, on his face, on Freddie's face here. Like, yes, no more of that. This is somebody who is in a bad relationship or a, bra or a bad marriage and um, doesn't get involved in it in drama that has to do with relationships. And marriage is um, potential drama for this person. That's why I think it came out upside down. So 
Um, hang on, let me plug in my phone one moment, please. Uh, this is probably going to come back repositioned, so hang on. Alrighty, welcome back. We are in a very precariously plugged in position here, so let's see how this works out. Um, Kurt Cobain and John Coltrane, your mutual energy. Let's do the patch tarot here. Um, so what is your mutual energy with each other? So somebody wants to come in after, um, after refusing a cup from the four of cups, which caused a tower with their nine of wands or nine of pentacles. Um, and then Freddie, who is the nine of pentacles in Tina's story, um, really seems to have a struggle with relationships. Um, they have tried partnership, had a broken heart from it. Let's get the light back in here. Had a broken heart from it. And now, um, there we go. And now is fine on their own. And so that's, that's the, that's the piece there, right? And that's, it's getting past the fear of being okay on your this person's not afraid of being alone. This is per this person's fine with being alone and they're afraid of the chaos and the heartbreak that comes with a relationship. And so if they walked away from something that had the potential to be chaotic or heartbreaking, um that was the tower over here. So what is so Kurt and John, your shared energy. Oh. Three of Cups, that's abundance, that's love, that's joy, um, that's that's this energy, that Six of Cups, that Nine of Cups, um, whatever has occurred here, um, it was it was good enough to keep somebody, it's, it was good enough to keep Tina tuned in, um, but not, but Freddie, um, Freddie's doing something over here, Freddie's. Freddie's got old pain um, that that makes him not want to be dramatic about life. So what else do we have? All right, so upside down, we've got reversion. So this is resurrection. Resurrection is the temperance card. When it's in the upright position, it is evolution. And when it's in the reversed position, it's a lack of evolution. It's going back to where you were. Um, and not and not finding that transition or that balance. So something so one of two things could be happening here. If you're Freddie, you've got fear that you need to overcome here that's keeping you from potentially uniting with Tina and or you both have that. You both have heartbreak. That could be why this four of cups was turned away in the past is because of past heartbreak. But whatever it is, Tina never had a chance to love Freddie. And now there's been um, some kind of a reversion um, versus an evolution, even though it's a super happy situation between the two of you. So um, very interesting. And then we have the light come out sideways. So um, when it's in the upright position, that means that there's a reveal. That means that White Lion or Tarot of the White Cats or Tina Turner over here um, or Freddie, somebody potentially had a reveal or wants to have a reveal and they're struggling with it because when it's coming out with a wobble in reverse, the light, which is a holy card, it's one of four ascended cards above the major arcana in the patch tarot deck. And so the light in reverse is concealed. It means that maybe this love is being concealed. It means maybe this fear of relationships um, of love is being, you both have a fear of love, um, it looks like. Um, but there's a great happiness over here. And this this is the opportunity to expand into this um, amethyst energy, um, that expansion. So if you want to bring temperance in the upright position and move it into evolution, then the way that you can potentially do that is through the reveal by expanding into the wonder that this is, um, speaking your truth here. Um, so Tina, yeah, so um, for both of you, quite frankly, because Freddie here um, isn't speaking his truth either. Freddie's concealing this, um, this fear, this fear of um, marriage. 
the priest. So because of heartbreak, because of um, a unhe- probably a previously unhealthy home environment. And so you're both concealing from each other. And the truth is, is that once you you share and you allow your vulnerabilities um, to, when you stop taking the solo and give each other their moment in the light that is each other's lives. So Tina's a spotlight and Freddie gets to step up in Tina's life and, and do his thing. And then Tina gets to step up in Freddie's life and do her thing. And so it, it's about giving each other the space to take the moment and follow your truth because it looks like you guys, you have abundance coming in and you're will you're in it together. You both know that. Um, so you might as well make some noise. That's what Kurt says. Um, we're in this mess together. So you might as well make some noise. That's what abundance is. Abundance is making that noise. Abundance is turning light and resurrection into the upright positions and revealing that an evolution wants to occur here that's bringing abundance between the two of you. Oh my God, seriously, the Ten of Cups comes flying out. So there is there is tremendous love between the two of you here. Um, and you guys are, both of you, um, are being controlled by your fear of the past. You're holding your past against each other and you're running, you're running solo in your lives together, um, apart and um, not allowing each other to um, be in the be the light in each other's lives. So doing that duet, doing that performance, doing that. Um, what's it called? Ah, yeah. See, the death cards here. This is transition. This is something dying. This is the fear dying. This is the resistance dying. Um, the tower, it's, you know, it's, it's something has ended to make space. So in somebody's lives, if not both of your lives, there have been endings because this is coming up as your mutual energy. And that, what that does is that brings forward that births what's next, but what's next can't be born until the old refuse is removed. Refuse, that's not even a word I would use. And is that even in the right context? The old trash is removed. Um, and you can you can partner up and do that together. But the death card, that's a really, it's Scorpio energy. Who do we have here? We've got Scorpio, we've got Pisces, Cancer. Who's Sag? I don't know the cards by heart, but the patch tarot I have. Oh, can you see that? Nope. Patch has the stuff on there. I find it very helpful. Any other messages for Kurt and John? Dang, you guys. What? Okay, so we've got, again, the Six of Cups. This is such a happy, happy partnership between Freddie and Tina. It just is. And the moon energy is out here. That's introspection. That's looking back at your past um, and following the path, following, you know, be doing some detective work to find the things that are hidden and keeping you from being your best self. Um, so we've got two Six of Cups here. Six of Cups is in the shared energy and it's also in Tina's energy. So um, something is being hid hidden and that six of cups is the absolute love and joy between you. Um, it's that's you guys. You guys are like, it makes me sad for you a little bit. Um, so I'm glad that Tina is like saying, wait, um, that she got her white lion out and she's like, um, no, we need to we need because it looks like Tina's over here making a move because Freddie is just trying not to be dramatic about life um, and just really kind of trying to um, enjoy the journey. So that's what Freddie's up to. And um, Tina's, Tina wants Freddie to wait up. Oh my goodness, the fool card again. So both of you are in the fool's energy. That's gorgeous, you guys. This is really lovely. Um, so whoever this is for, 
I'm just sending you super good vibes and lots of love because um, this is there's there's love between you um, and you guys have the opportunity it looks like to 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 show up for each other to um, let to heal your old wounds with each other it looks like to create the space for that to unfold um, to turn that temperance card upright and evolve. So um, what is Tina being guided to surrender, please? Tina, what is Tina surrendering? Tina is surrendering the drama. Or is that Freddy? Because it did fly over on the Freddy side. So surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Stay centered. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. So um, that is surrender the drama. We're just, how about if we put that between the two of you? Because I think you both need to surrender the drama. You both need to surrender the pain that's holding you back from each other because there's nothing but love here, love and joy. But you do have the logic of this Queen of Swords energy with Freddy. So you've got somebody who's super logical here um, and is not being ruled by the emotions. There's a lot of cups over here and there's no cups over here at all. Um, so what else do we have to surrender here? Oh, surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. That's Freddy's. Freddy it believes in scarcity because of this pain, this heartache that happened in relationship from the past. And Tina, what are you surrendering? Ooh. Tina is surrendering the worry. And negative thinking. So, um, worry. Surrender worry. Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Absolutely. That's beautiful. Um, because... You, um, it looks like, you know, you're worried. You're, you're saying, wait, wait, wait. I never had a chance to love you. And you're scared about that. And, um, that's getting, you're getting in your own way. You're th you, you're thinking in terms of what if, right? So what if, and then you've got multiple scenarios probably happening. You've got the one where it doesn't work out. And then you've got the one where it does. Focus on the one where it does. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. So if you are one with Freddie Mercury, you can't, you, you need to trust that you know that you're one. That's, that's, you already know that. And Freddie knows this too, but Freddie's acting like Freddie doesn't know it. Freddy's a queen of swords. Freddy doesn't put, I'm wondering if, I'm wondering if these are reversed um, sexes, um, but Freddy, um, Freddy's a queen and she's, she has to be logical um, because you both are doing solo acts and whoever's the feminine here is, um, having to be mindful this isn't somebody who's running into something um if this is the feminine over here it's still somebody who's not running for something um right away because there was that tower over the rejection of that fourth cup so um the three of cups being the abundance and where'd the four of cups go oh, i'm about ready to run out of time oh, okay um where are you four of cups here it is okay so this four of cups that cup, that offer came in, that offer of, oops, the three of cups. So this abundance, this celebration, this love, this happiness that happens with the three of cups happened. And then a fourth cup came in 
and said, hey, maybe, you know, you want to do this more regularly. And that cup was not taken. And that created that tower. Um, and so that that created a belief in scarcity is what happened. Um, interesting. So, all right, what's on the floor here? Surrender the habit of people pleasing is on the floor. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. So it looks like the two of you will be focusing on your happiness and then the happiness that you create independently, you bring to each other. You're in this mess together. You might as well make some noise. Both of you are surrendering the habit of people pleasing so that you can make some noise together. You're not a tribute band. You're not trying to be a copier. You're not trying to do it the way other people can other people do it. You can't buy teen spirit. And this is teen spirit that's in the making here. So um, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to nurture it and let it evolve? And let this child come out and play and stop yelling wait and go grab it? Um... Or does it just still sit on the table?